welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kishan Nagum. Today I'm coming with a very very big announcement. As I'm going to show you the demo of my upcoming tutorial series that is how to make an app like Uber. So let's see the demo. Here it's an Uber app. As you guys see that here there are two devices that is running the Uber clone. Well, one is my iPhone 6s, the actual device and the second is the simulator. I'm running this app on the two device simultaneously because I am going to show you how things happen between the driver and the customer. So let's quickly sign up as a driver. So in this the simulator I'm going to sign up as a driver. Let's say Tom. The email is Tom at mail.com. Mm, password will be one two three four five six right or no I'm a driver and let's say continue after continue you can see that uh, we successfully logged in as a driver in our app you can see that there is nothing so in the screen just a empty table view uh, this is the screen of rides the available rides request by the customer there are no customers requesting the ride right now so there is nothing showing here now in the another device let's quickly sign up as a customer let's say jerry and say jerry at mail dot com and let's uh, password one two three four five six driver no i'm a rider and let's continue after hitting the continue button you can see that we are going to navigate to app and this app screen showing the you customers current location so and you can see that there are uh, call uber button in the below so uh, let's say jerry want to go for a ride so he press the button call uber what is going on why it's not ring call uber you can see that it's a uh, request is uh, going uh, to the server and the our driver is uh, receiving the request of a jerry that is one kilometer away because my driver is right now somewhere nearby one kilometer so, so the it's showing the request that uh, a customer named jerry and this is the address and this is one kilometer away so if i'm going to I'm going to let's quickly I'm accepting the request so let's press on the this cell so you can see that I'm navigate to the customers location here and the customer Jerry is receiving a notification that Tom is on his way to take you let's quickly say okay so so the ride is booked now and the customer location is that so I'm quickly uh, tap on the directions button and so you can see that this is the driver's location and it quickly shows me the direction towards the customer so by this functionality we are going to learn that how the, how a driver can reach to the customer by using the Google Maps and let's say uh, Jerry say, uh, Jerry find uh, of one of his friend and he don't want this right now he want to cancel the ride so what happened so let's quickly press the button cancel ride so Jerry cancel the ride so if I'm going to click the cancel button so you can see that here on the Tom the driver's screen the message is uh, one alert is pop up sorry customer just cancel the ride and the ok and we are going to navigate to the this button so how many times uh, there are suppose there are five customers who are requesting the uber so the our driver will uh, receive the five requests at a time and he will choose the whether what uh, what uh, customer he want to go so this is a 
very good functionality to learn and uh, if i log out so i quickly logged out and they logged out here so not from the here uh, log out